Hi, everybody. You know, lately, I've been asking a lot of questions by people. They like to know, like, how I start, how I got to where I am, uh, how I got to the jewelry business, how I got to give me a loan on art and jewelry. You know, it's a very, it's, it's a really a long story, but first I want to say hi to everybody and everybody have a great weekend. I have a great, great week. It was a long, great week. I'm going to start a channel to be in contact with you guys. I will tell you guys about my life, personally think, the way I live life, if anybody interesting. I don't know why, really, honestly. And uh, maybe show you some jewelry and explain you about some stuff, like there's some watches you should buy and invest, investment, if anybody want to know about color stone, diamond, how to buy diamond, because everybody, you know, Jewelry business, it's a really a blind business. When you go to a jewelry store, you don't know if you're paying the right price, or you don't know if you pay 10 times. And some jewelry store will charge you crazy. You know, when I came, when I came to America, this was like, like almost 35 years ago, I never thought I would stay in America because I'm Israeli and I came to visit my brother in New York. I love New York. I wish I never left New York. It was a bit, I don't want to say it was a big mistake to come to LA, but if I have a choice today, I will live in New York. I love New York. Uh, the reason I'm stay here, you know what? Traveling, each hiking took me three months to move from New York to LA. We each hiking and we was moving car to car. It took us like three months. I was sleeping in the car with four other guys and by eating only uh, bread with peanut butter because we don't have the money, and on the way to LA in Arizona, I have to sell my ticket and the way back to Israel. And when I came to LA, I started giving flyer door to door, try to make the money to buy my ticket. It's a point, honestly, never have any intention to stay here. It's happened, I don't know what is it. Like you work in day by day, you try to make a living, and it's like life change you. All of a sudden you start to like the people, you like the weather, you like what you do. I think, I think when I'm thinking about people life, I think everything happened for a reason, there's no accident. You know, in the beginning I was just a jeweler, just selling jewelry door to door. And then I opened a store, a little store on Sunday Center in Wilshire, selling jewelry to people. And people come to me and sell jewelry. But then some people say, God, I wish I hold it. I got it for my wife and I don't want to lose it. Then I got the idea, why not to help people? Why not to help people, really? It was like, I said, okay, I will get the license. People don't want to sell it. I give them loan and they have the option to pick it up. If it's a mistake, listen, it's part of my life. I wish I never start, but I'm a pawnbroker too. You know, uh, I was living in Israel. I was there in, uh, after the army, I went to Paris. I was working uh, for the Israeli government for a couple of weeks, a couple of years, I'm sorry. I have a great time, I love Paris. A really big experience, you know, you're working for the government, you can do what you want. It's not like you can do what you want. When you work for government, you're limited, but it's a different life from Tel Aviv or from the kibbutz I grew up to come to a big city like that. And 35 years ago, the Paris was different. I, I have a great time. I never planned, ever thought about be a jeweler. Never know jewelry, never know watches. I, my mom don't have enough money to buy me for my bar mitzvah watch. And it's a watch I want, it costs only 80 bucks at the time. Like it was no planning for that. It's happened. I start working for a jewelry store, giving flyer, and then I, I took jewelry from the store and selling door to door. You know, I don't believe, I really don't believe I was selling door to door. But for like six, eight years, this is what they used to do. Go to a high, high rise building, door to door, selling for $20 chain and give them credit for $18 and pick up $2 every week. It, it took a long time to where I got. A lot of hard working, but you know, I never thought about it. I really loved what I did. I think every day was like a party for me. This is why when I'm thinking about that, doing what I did, I think I was really crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. You have to be crazy to be in this business. Art. I, I, I never study. I never, you know, it's like you're dealing with this for so many years 
when you love something, you learn the piece. And I think it's more with experience. I mean, I know diamond very well. I know color very well. I deal with watches a lot. I own watches that are worth millions of millions of dollars. I start with art. I mean, in a time when I started the business was no internet. Like people can send you some stuff. You buy a piece of art for, you can buy something for 20,000 and sell it for like 100,000 because nobody know who is an artist. People could not uh, research. Life changed the last 20 years. If I like it, no. I wish it was like the old days. I could buy watches for, I bought a watch for 10,000 and it's worth like 100,000. Today, people, everybody's smart. If you want to know price, just look, go to the internet. You go to Google, you know everything. But this is what I like about that. This is what I like about my business because I buy stuff from people and you never know what you're going to get. I go to people's house, I see pieces, it's like a museum. And I love that. This is what I love about the business. Besides love the people I'm working with, I like item, I like collect, I love watches, I love diamonds, I love jewelry. In your study, you learn. Today, in experience like I have, people go to school, I have some eight employees over here, they're all gemology. I think I know more about diamond than any gemology. Never went to be a gemology, but I know diamond. You know, when I start, it was very challenging because people don't know who I am. It was very hard to sell uh, jewelry. My English was terrible. I mean, like, I never went to school to learn English. It's like English was like start at seven o'clock in the morning. Like I told my teacher, it's too early for me. I used to wake up at nine. I used to be a bad boy in a way. Like without English, selling jewelry, it was a big challenge, believe me. There were so many mistakes. People understand me in the wrong way. I used to tell people, you know, it's so hot. It's so hot. Like me, like it's beautiful. This is like the translation to Hebrew. When it's hot, it's beautiful. And people think like I stole these pieces. I mean, in fact, a couple of times they called the police on me. And it's not a joke, it was a serious. Because I told people, you see that how hot is it? It's like, I went so like, so much. It's every day was a challenge. You know, today, the competition is so big. I mean, there's so many, when I start my business, it was like only two pawn shops in Beverly Hills. Now you have, I think, over 20. I mean, everybody think, God, you can make so much money at that. And if Yossi can do it, I can do it. It's a challenge because you have to be competing with everybody. I'm different. People come to him because they know they enjoy working with me and try to be fair. I'm not the regular pawn shop. I don't want people to lose the merchandise. And in fact, every pawn shop will wish if you lose the merchandise because you give so much money on that, but it's worth a lot more. I don't want to lose my customer. I really want to help my customer. I'm in, happy with the interest. I want people to come back. You know, sometimes I wait for people for a long time. In my goal, it's different when you, when, this is, this is a difficult part of being a palm broker. It's break your heart when somebody lose something and they still want the pieces. You know, Everybody can be a palm broker. Some people born to be a palm broker. I mean, it's not like everybody can tomorrow open a shop and put a pawn sign and people get in. You have to have a personality. You have to love what you do. You have to love the people to work with. I mean, I love the old palm broker that used to deal with people. I used to buy from pawn shop 35 years ago when I came over to America. I used to buy from pawn shop and sell it to my friend. First, you need a lot of money because, you know, you never know. Somebody come and say, listen, I need a hundred thousand. I need a half a million. I have a Picasso. And it's break your heart if you don't have the money. Like you have to really, it's like to start as a palm broker without money. Don't think about that today. Uh, and you have to like it. It's, it's not easy. It's really, it's not easy. But you know, everybody sees it's a different way. Some people do it because they love the money. And some people doing that because they have nothing to do, what it's wrong. And some people, it's like a desire, like everything else. It's very simple. First, you have to have a lot of money because you never know how you're going to grow. And open a pawn shop without money, it's a big mistake. It's like a bank with no money. Because pawn shop, basically, it's a bank. It all depends what kind of a pawn shop, you need a lot of money. If I start again, I will never start with nothing. I start with nothing, I was struggling. 
and I sell jewelry, I start borrowing money, I pay in high interest, but you know something, if you don't have money, don't start a business. This business will not make you rich, definitely. It's the most important, you have to love what you do. And I'm not talking about being a pump worker, about anything in life. When you go to work every morning, you're waking up and you want to be in your business, this is when you're happy. Like, I, you know, when you tell, when people ask me, Kaka, we make a lot of money, we, we open a pawn, pawn shop, don't do that for the money. For the money, they have a lot of other things, you can make a lot more. Like, if anybody have a question, just write to me. Uh, I can answer and anything, whatever you guys thinking about in what you want to know from me. Jewelry, art, uh, watches, my personal life, I don't have a problem with this because I don't have a secret life. Uh, whoever you guys uh, would love to. Leave the question below the video in comments and I will answer whatever I can do. And subscribe my channel. Thank you. Leave your question. Um, this was good?